Floyd situation. I think moving forward, Floyd can just work with fighters that uh, are less flashy, that are less away from his type of personality. Because I think as time goes on, especially with all the sports talk being pushed, like, oh, you at work, but you working for somebody. I think a lot of uh, a lot of that talk, especially when they start getting the big money and stuff. I think sometimes it can get to your head as a as a young fighter, like, oh, I don't need my money. I can do this on my own. I got money now. Why, why should I be signed to this person? You know, I think often they forget that a lot of us getting there that fast, like, we were introduced to Broner by him, you know, being out to eat with Floyd and hanging around Floyd. So then we start associating, like, okay, this is the next Floyd. This is the next guy. This is the guy Floyd Stamping. He got that similar type of attitude. You know, he could have done that and eventually broke through. But what made it happen quicker was him standing next to Floyd and doing it. Same thing with Davis. Davis doesn't have that same talk, that same it as Ronda and Floyd. But he still, you know, has that flashy edge. You know, he still is from that same type of environment. So I think moving forward. If we can't talk this out and we can't get past whatever the issue is, because he seems to be aligning himself with Broner again, and, you know, they say Broner brought him to him. You know, I let him buy himself out of the contract. We're moving forward. I only deal with fighters, you know, like that Kawhi Leonard type personality, that that personality that even if it is an issue, we can handle it behind the scenes, you know. And I try to remind these guys and let them know from the start that, even if things happen fast, when you get this money, when you get in this certain position, you know, don't switch up, you know, or maybe even start doing contracts to the point like the NBA where a person doesn't feel trapped, where you can re-up, you know, you know give them an option, something like that, because I think these young guys, they're just, it's, it's a lot of ego, and they don't see the benefit of having someone, because they feel like after a while, well, you know, we cool, so I can just talk to them, or, or Maybe they want more, because maybe him hanging around Bron and Bron like, oh, what are you doing for you like this? What are you doing for you like that? So maybe that could be the issue with him having Broner in his ear. It, it could, he could be pushing his issues on the tank. Broner could be pushing his issues on the tank. And like, you know, Floyd ain't this, Floyd ain't that. And because Floyd's older and more mature at this point, they might not be able to see it from Floyd's perspective. You know, Floyd feels that been there when he's been there he's there at the times when he feels that he needs to be there but the the extra stuff that a lot of the youth and the younger superstars expect is not something that the you know people of Floyd generation feel that they should be there or be involved to the same extent that younger superstars may think that he should be involved so you know he's the most followed uh box on Instagram right now, you know, been on a breakfast club, been on a lot of big platforms, has a lot of rappers around him, so at this point, he's probably just feel like he don't need Floyd, but if I'm Floyd, I try to remind him, like, yeah, I will let you go, but do remember that this happened so fast, not just because you're good, because there's a lot of good guys, but because you're standing next to Floyd. You know, so that brings a lot of those associations and makes it happen even quicker. You know, maybe, yeah, maybe it would have happened eventually anyway. But the reason it happened this fast is because of who you're standing next to. And if things go bad when you lose, just remember, you know. So moving forward, Floyd, stay away from these young guys that are flashy, that are too entrenched in the environment and they don't see the big picture. Break everything down from the beginning so they get it. And uh, maybe try to do contracts with options.